now a widow after she says her husband jumped onto the windshield of her car and was thrown off while she was driving. This happened last Monday in a Wendy's parking lot in Holland. It's disbelief. The whole thing it just blows my mind. I don't know. Distraught. Heartbroken. Venice Leone says she never meant to hurt her husband, Robert Leone. Oh, yeah. And it all happened so fast. And I would have never, ever hurt him in a million years. He was my best friend. He died with her behind the wheel. It happened at this Wendy's in Holland. The two began fighting, Venice says, because she ordered a Nintendo Switch and not a PS5. He got really upset. Like, I've never seen him like that. I've never seen him fly off the handle like that. I've never seen him. I don't know why he got so angry, but then he started, uh, like, telling me, I'm, you know, calling me names and and being very aggressive and he scared my daughter she like screamed at the top of her lungs like scared because he was yelling at me he slapped me and then he punched my arm and uh i was trying to keep my cool and i told him you know i can cancel the order i can order the ps5 you know and things escalated from there at one point robert gets out of the car my daughter's screaming she's going mom help me get me away from him mom save me so i pulled out of the parking lot I mean, the parking spot, and I backed out, and I went to go forward. Venice says she was trying to drive from the Wendy's parking lot to the Meyer parking lot, just until Robert cooled off. She describes what happens next. I was pulling out, he jumped on the hood, and he was holding on, like, where the windshield wipers are. And uh, I had proceeded to turn, and as I turned, he slipped off, and he fell and hit his head, and that's... What caused him to pass away is he got a brain bleed that was inoperable and they couldn't fix it. I asked Venice why she didn't just stop driving. I thought about that later, but it happened so quickly and my daughter was freaking out. And I, I was, he was trying to break the window uh, on the driver's side door. He was kicking the car. He was, uh, I was scared. Like, honestly, I was scared. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey again hit y'all on the video. Hope y'all having a very great day. Hope y'all having a very great week. My day is going absolutely stupendous. Big shout out to all the channel members and subscribers of the Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of Michigan by way of Holland. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of Michigan, everybody inside the great city of Holland. Now, before I start this story, I want to send a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also, keep these stories coming. And yes, you all may know today is what? Not Messy Monday. Today is Trifling Tuesday. And this story has trifling written all over it. Now, recently in the great city of Holland, you had a husband and wife who got into a very bad dispute over a video game system. And it led to the husband losing his life. And like, you must remember one thing. You're going to argue. You're going to disagree. But it never should lead to this mess right here where cooler heads cannot prevail. Now, the wife reached out to the news station just like most big girls been doing. And if y'all notice, the last few videos I've done, yes, we had three big women reaching out to the news station trying to get their side of the story. Now, fellas, if you were a big girl, more power to you. And also, big girls, if y'all want to reach out to the news station, please tell the news the whole damn truth. Because every time y'all reach out to the news station, y'all always switch the story and make the story sound to benefit you all. When the story clearly says different. And now I know you all are wondering and thinking to yourselves deeply, well, Trey, how in the hell did this start? What is this all about? Was he cheating? I mean, what's going on? Was he taking her food? No, it wasn't nothing like that. The wife, Venice Leon, she was supposed to order her husband, Robert Leon, a PlayStation 5. But this helper decided to order, yes, guess what? A Nintendo Switch. Now ask yourself this, fellas, for those who are listening today. What in the hell a whole grown-ass man going to do with a damn Nintendo Switch? Think about that. That man's not going to be able to play Call of Duty or none of the advanced games. He's going to have to play those kiddie games. And no grown-ass man want no damn kitty games unless they're still living in their damn childhood reality. Now, anyway, so Venice Leon did not order the damn PlayStation 5. She decided to order, yes, the Nintendo Switch. Now, I want you all to tell me this right here. Why do you think, Venice Leon, yes, big girl, why do you think she decided to order the damn Nintendo Switch instead of ordering her husband the PlayStation 5 like she promised Robert and Paul Robert? Mm. It's sad to go to the upper room all over a damn video game system. Now, I know you all are thinking with Trey. I can look and tell that both of them are full grown. Yes, I don't have Robert age, but we damn sure have big Venice age. Venice, yes, is 44 years old. And I ain't going to say how old she look in the face because, you know, she's kind of like the victim, but also a suspect in a way. Even though 
after her husband had fell off the car and had a brain bleed, they only charged her with a moving violation. And that's a damn shame for somebody to lose their life all over a damn video game and then the wife only get charged with a moving violation. Now the story goes deeper and says that all this took place at a Wendy's. So I want to ask you all this right here also before I dig deeper into this story. Now, do you think the argument started right at Wendy's or was they arguing before they got to Wendy's? And I guarantee you any kind of money they was arguing, yes, way before they reached Wendy's. Now, Venice and her husband, Robert Leung, was at Wendy's around 12.35 p.m., ordering them probably a Baconator or whatnot. And Venice, baby, it like you could have did without Wendy's for a while. But anyway, that's your business. Now, Venice was driving the car. Her husband, Robert, was in the passenger seat. And also in the back seat was the daughter. And the way Venice told this whole story, she was basically telling more about the daughter than what the hell was going on between her and Robert. Listen. He scared my daughter. She, like, screamed at the top of her lungs. Like, scared, because he was yelling at me. My daughter's screaming. She's going, Mom, help me. Get me away from him, Mom. Save me. Everything she said, her daughter was scared. I mean, damn. So how old is your daughter? If you're 44 years old, Venice, how old is your daughter? Is your daughter 5 years old, 3 years old, or is she 20 years old? And also, who in the hell did you order this damn Nintendo Switch for? Was it you or your daughter? Because Robert sure in the hell did not want it. But anyway, now, Venice told the news station that Robert became very upset when... She ordered the Nintendo Switch and did not order the PlayStation 5. And then she had the nerve to tell Robert, yes, out of all things, mm, at an insult to injury, she told Robert that she could cancel the order to the Nintendo Switch. Now, and I told him, you know, I can cancel the order. I can order the PS5, you know. And Common sense would tell a person, look, if I wanted you to order me a damn PlayStation 5, why would you turn around and order Nintendo Switch? And also... Why would you then tell me that you can cancel the order? Should you not just cancel the damn order and just order the damn PlayStation 5? You get me? But at the same time, think about this. How about we both have our cake and eat it too? Look, you order the Nintendo Switch for you. I'm going to order myself the PlayStation 5. And also, if you're in your damn 40s, why are you all still playing video games? I can see if you all was arguing over a damn computer. Something being productive for a damn video game. And that's why I ask you all, family, today. Yes, come to you with an open heart asking you. Who do you think this video game system was for? This Nintendo Switch, that is. We already know who the PlayStation was for. That was for Robin. You get what I'm saying? But who do you think this Nintendo Switch was for? Was it for Big Venice or was it for her daughter? And ma'am, mm, mm, mm. shame on you. Shame on you. Now, Venice said that Robert had slapped her and also had punched her arm. Now, I don't agree with no man putting their hands on any woman. Let's get that understood. But at the same time, ma'am, if he did all that, as soon as he got out that car, why did you not call 911 and drive off? Why wait till he walked all the way around the car and then decide to pull off after he started hitting the glass? That's what she says. So if he started hitting the glass and whatnot and your daughter is yelling in the back seat, how old is your daughter? And once again, ma'am, why is you trying to say that your daughter was screaming like Robert was after her when Robert didn't even touch her? Robert was basically on yo ass. You get what I'm saying? Not saying that he was right. But the whole story that she twisted and turned to the news station sounded like that she was just trying to paint a picture just to cover herself to make herself look good. And that's why I have to ask, how old was his damn daughter? Because the way you said it, you must have been had a baby in there because you could not concentrate at all. Now, Big Venice continued on to say that after Robert tried to break the glass, which I don't understand that, why would he get out and try to break the glass if he's already inside the damn car? I mean, he could do more damage to you if he was really trying to hurt you inside the car. Notice, she said the only thing he did was slapped her and then punched her arm. You get me? Which is dead wrong. But at the same time, you sit there and wait till he walk around from the passenger side to the driver's side, attempt to break the glass allegedly, so you say, and then he proceeds to jump on the hood and grab the windshield wipers, and that's when you decide to pull off, and that's when he falls off and bump his head. But think about this also, family, before we dig deep into the story. How fast do you think Big Venice was going inside of this car because guess what? You could fall off a damn car going a couple miles per hour. Guess what? You will still live. But at the same time, if somebody's driving at a high rate of speed and they're trying to sling you off the car, guess what? You're going to fall off that car and hit that ground much harder. So Venice wants you to think that she slowly backed up out this damn parking spot and proceeded to go forward. And that's when Robert jumped on the hood to grab the windshield wiper and she just badly turned the car and he slid off. No, it's a difference between something sliding off or slid off than being thrown off or being slung the hell off. So let me ask you this, family. Do you think Venice was driving at a high rate of speed and slung this man off? And then the news checkmated her and said, 
I asked Venice why she didn't just stop driving. I've thought about that later, but it happened so quickly, and my daughter was freaking out, and I... I was, he was trying to break the window. Why did you not stop when you seen that he was on the ground? And guess what she said? I've thought about that later, but it happened so quickly. Because it happened so fast. But it not happened so fast because you remember everything your damn daughter said. You get what I'm saying? And once again, she went right back to her daughter. But anyway, Venice was charged with a moving violation. She had went and bunted out of jail on a thousand dollar bond, and that's a damn shame. And Robert, and Robert, Leon, mm, what you gonna tell Jesus when you see him? What you gonna tell him? That I am here because of a damn PlayStation 5 and my wife wanted a damn Nintendo Switch? That's a damn shame. I don't think God was gonna wanna hear that. But anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from this story, and I'm going to give my opinion. All of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, married couple fighting outside when this old Nintendo Switch leads to husband being fatally thrown from the car, and the wife charged with a damn moving violation. That's a damn shame right there. And girl, and girl, why y'all old ass still playing damn video games in your damn 40s? Mid-40s at that. You should have gave that up in your damn 20s and 30s. I mean, damn, in Venice, baby, baby, you did not need Wendy's that day, but I'm not here to get on you like that, because I'm just here to try to find some truth inside of all these damn madness and so-called twisted tales. But anyway, let's continue. A 44-year-old mom in Michigan was arrested for her role in the death of her husband, who died outside of a local Wendy's after being thrown from the hood of her vehicle. And did you not hear all those damn excuses that she gave the news station? I don't know why he got so angry, but then he started... Uh, like telling me I'm, you know, calling me names and and being very aggressive and he scared my daughter. She like screamed at the top of her lungs. Big Venice gave the news station every reason to why this happened, but she could not explain why she left her husband there. And girl, that's a damn shame right there. And if I was Robert and y'all did all that Nintendo Switch and I'm dead and gone, guess what? I would come back and possess that damn Nintendo Switch. Every time y'all cut it on, y'all would hear my damn voice. Anyway, let's continue. Venice Leon was formally arraigned on one count of a moving violation resulting in the death of her husband, Robert B. Leon, who died outside of a local witness. That's a damn shame. And girl, you trying to sit up here and tell us that the reason why you left this parking spot so your husband can have a chance to cool down, as you often hear right now? Venice says she was trying to drive from the Wendy's parking lot to the Meyer parking lot, just until Robert cooled off. Now think about this, family. Put your thinking caps on. Why would you decide to leave the Wendy's parking spot just to drive a few feet over in hopes of your husband cooling down. Would you not want to get away from him? Because as you told the news station, you were so terrified and your daughter was screaming that Robert is trying to get her. Why would you not just try to leave instead of driving a few feet over? And also, ma'am, explain to us once again how in the hell did you manage to slay Robert off the hood of this car? Because you're not telling the whole damn story, clearly. Anyway, let's continue. And the story continued to say, the couple were in the restaurant parking lot with their daughter in a 2009 Dodge Charger when they got into a heated argument. Robert Leon allegedly got out of the vehicle, but his wife tried to pull out of the parking lot. I thought that you tried to pull out the parking lot after he tried to break the window. But anyway, the story continued to say onward that he jumped on the hood of the moving car and Robert Leon fell to the ground and struck his head. You see how the news station just write that? And that's not exactly what happened because the wife is saying something totally different than what they're having wrote up. Anyway, let's continue. And now let's see what Big Venice has to say because these big girls, they would take a story and turn it around 10 times. She says, I'm still in disbelief. The whole thing blows my mind, she told the news station. Then she continued to go on saying that she had no intention of hurting her husband. And I'm sure that you didn't. But ma'am, but ma'am, when you seen your husband got slung from the vehicle and he's laying on the ground, why did you not stop and try to help this man? You get what I'm saying? At least that would have made you look a little better. Because once again, I'm not agreeing with no man putting their hand on a woman. You get me? Because that's what she say. Now, we only have one side to the story. Well, really two sides. The camera. Where's the camera footage yet showing this? Because it doesn't sound like that's what happened. But at the same time, until that camera footage is released to the public, where we all can see it, we only hearing one side of the story. Because guess why? The other side of the story is dead and gone all over a damn funk-ass video game system. I mean, let's just be for real. Grown folks need to do better. And let me tell you this right here. Look here. It's nothing wrong with arguing with your spouse. It's nothing wrong with having disagreements. But at the same time, you cannot let that escalate until you becoming violent toward each other and saying hurtful things because you're going to regret that also. You get me? There's a right and a wrong way. Yes, somebody said to love somebody. That's true too. But there's a right and a wrong way to do everything in life. And also, if you tell somebody that you're going to do something, why not just go ahead and do it? And ma'am, 
they even think about it a little further, you could have had your cake and eat it too, because I know you eat a lot of cake. You could have easily got that Nintendo Switch, and also Robert could have got his PS5, and guess what? Life goes on, because I'm sure you all have more than one TV in their house. Anyway, let's close up, because that made too much sense. And Big Venice continued to tell the news station that he got really upset. I never seen him fly off the handle like that. I never seen him. Then she paused for a second. I don't know why he got so angry. Ma'am, when you tell the truth, the truth flows. That's why I talk like, you know, with a little speed in my voice. Because it's the truth. You know what I'm saying? When you got to lie, guess what? Even if you talk to the news station, you got to sit there and pause and think about it like you're doing a cha-cha slide. But at the same time, when something happened the way it happened, guess what? It flow off your tongue like what? Like water. Y'all like that, don't you? Anyway, let's close. And Big Venice continued to pour her heart out to the news station. She says, but when he started calling me names and being very aggressive, he scared my daughter. So he didn't scare you? He didn't scare you? Ma'am, it sounds like to me that you're trying to use your daughter as bait. It sounds like to me that you're trying to put all of this on your daughter instead of you telling us how the hell you feel. You get what I'm saying? Now she says, he scared my daughter. She screamed at the top of her lungs like scared because he was yelling at me. He slapped me and then he punched my arm. I told him, you know, I can cancel the order. I can order the PS5. So ma'am, so ma'am, once again, I don't agree with any man putting a hand on a woman once more, but at the same time, you tell the news station basically more about your daughter than the situation. But at the same time, if all of this was over a video game system, why not just order the man the damn game system and been done with it from the damn jump? Why go through all this? You get what I'm saying? Maybe the man felt like you were playing with him. Maybe he felt like you was antagonizing him. But at the same time, even if he did feel that way, it's still no reason to put your hand on your woman. But guess what? We only have her side to the damn story. Because if he did strike you, why did you not call the police? Why did your daughter not call the police? You get what I'm saying? Since she was so scared. Do that make sense, you all? And this is where the story would get real funky like an old batch collard green. Big Venice continued to tell the news station, pouring her heart out. She says... My daughter screaming. She's like, Mom, get me out of here. Get me away from him. Mom, save me. So once again, Venice, who was Robert after? Was he after you or your damn daughter? Because it never said one time that he was trying to reach out and grab her. And the story also never said that Robert was around her side of the car trying to attack her. So once again, ma'am, why in the hell was your damn daughter so scared? You feel what I'm saying? And why did nobody call the police since it was that bad? And Big Venice continued to tell the news station that as I was pulling out, he jumped on the hood and was holding on where the windshield wipers were. I had proceeded to turn, and as I turned, he slipped off and hit his head. That's what caused him to pass away. He had a brain bleed they could not operate on. Do that make any damn sense? But the news station checked her and said that... I asked Venice why she didn't just stop driving. I've thought about that later, but it happened so quickly, and my daughter was freaking out, and I... <sighs> I was, he was trying to break the window. Why did you not turn around? And think about this, and family, and closing. Why do you think she did not turn around? And also, do you think that she meant to hurt him? And do you really think that Robert was attacking her, and she never called the police? She never really tried to get away from this man until he allegedly jumped on the hood and fell off the car as she was turning? And how fast do you think she was going? But anyway, let this be a lesson to you all. Look. Learn to pick your battles. Everything is not meant for you to go overboard because all this could have easily been settled. And guess what? Life goes on. All thing I had to do just talk it out. Look, if you want a Nintendo Switch, order a Nintendo Switch. But I don't see why a 44 year old woman would need a Nintendo Switch. And that's why I asked in the beginning of the video, who do you think this game system belonged to? Was it for her or was it for her daughter? Because, ma'am, it sounds like to me, Dad, you ordered this game system for you when you promised your husband the whole time that he was getting a PS5. And even though he should not have overreacted and put his hands on you, as you say, guess what? You have to admit that you did wrong also. But the way you tell the news station is that you're totally innocent and all of this is Robert's fault. But anyway, if you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. And I will see you all soon on next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.